Okay. All right. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Good early morning, um, everybody. We are, as you can see, very, very packed up. We are driving back home to Minnesota for the holidays. We finished our contract in um, Western Massachusetts. So it is now December 1st and we are starting our way back. We've packed up all of our stuff. We put the seats down. Um, we've got two tubs, two large suitcases, a medium suitcase, two small suitcases. It all fits. You can, you can see like a little window. But we're taking kind of a scenic route. Um, yeah, we, uh, well, the plan is, um, from, uh, Hillsdale, New York, so right by Great Barrington, uh, it's a tiny town, I don't know, the, the biggest town. Mm -hmm. Anyways, in the Berkshire, it's close to Pittsfield, Massachusetts, it's probably the biggest town close to it. Um, we are driving down, um, to Arlington, Virginia today, um, because the plan is we're going to go south to go north. So we plan to end up in the Carolinas, North Carolina. Um, I believe we are going to New Bern and then Charlotte. And then after that, we're going to drive up through Tennessee to Kentucky and go to Louisville and then probably have to stop in Eau Claire or something and then all the way back to Minnesota. So that's yeah. the basic plan over the next seven Ish days, six ish days, days, depending on how fast we drive. And we're doing this because we're visiting like, gosh, like four different people throughout the drive. It's not the most time effective route. No, but we could just, just hit the interstate and go straight yeah. uh, back west. But we're but visiting like people along the way. And so. to be nice to enjoy some warmth, I guess. Like 50 degrees. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. But we will take you along with us. <laughs> We're not even that far in, but we've already stopped to get some Starbucks. Um, we're very into the holiday drinks lately. For some reason, this is the cup we always get. Can't get the cute white one with like the little Christmas trees, just always bold, green, bright. Um, this is Gabriel's. You always get like the toasted, it's toasted something. I have it saved, I don't actually even remember. But I got the Irish cream cold brew. First time doing that, but it was recommended. So. I don't think I've ever gotten anything Irish cream before. That was good. Mm. I like a good cold brew though. Believe me, we're specials. She said she will not advise anybody. Okay, we got this again, but fun fact, we're in New Jersey and you cannot pump your own gas in New Jersey. It's like Oregon. People come and pump it for you. Just a fun fact. We are now crossing our last day off of our New England bucket list. We are driving probably like 20 miles through Delaware. And this is the border crossing from New Jersey to Delaware. It's over there. Flights, I think. It's like first in flight or something. Is that what the state's logo is? Might be. Or is give me freedom or give me death or something. We'll update you, for sure. We'll fact check it. <laughs> okay, here's the fun fact. The motto of Delaware, that Gabriel was trying to think of, the first state. Oh, the first state. What did you say? First in flight. That's an accident. Mm, maybe we have to do some more looking Okay, we found it. It's North Carolina's state motto. We're driving there, so... Look at this sunset. 
Okay, my phone's not even really capturing it, but it's pretty good. Okay, so we are now at our final destination of day one, which is Richmond, Virginia. Um, we just got to our hotel. I went on the treadmill for and just walk for like 20 minutes because we're sitting in the car for like 10 plus hours. Um, and we just ordered some food from a barbecue restaurant and we'll be on to the next day from here. So, good night. Okay, I didn't show this last night because it was dark, but we have booked all hotels that have charging. It is the slower charging, but it is nice to be able to charge while we're sleeping. And I just want to show how much we're able to fit in our car. Um... We're able to put bags of clothes under a compartment here and in the middle. And then we have two big tubs here and here. And then big suitcase or other big suitcase will go here. Medium suitcase there, it does still shut. And then small suitcase there. And then in the front, we are able to fit another small suitcase in our backpacks in the middle. Thank you. Um, so we're actually able to fit way more than we thought being able to put the, the seats so, down. I was talking to my brother Darlington, shout out to Living Rich Rich. And we're kind of talking about how much of a chore it is while driving to keep your hands on the steering. I know, crossword problems. Um, but usually, after like a minute or so of not having your hands on the steering while you have lane assist, you have to kind of like move the steering a little bit just to know you're there. But he was telling me, he was like, what, what do you do? I was like, oh, I just move it a little bit. He's like, no, all you have to do is just touch the volume up and down, or the speed up and down, and that's all you gotta do. So apparently he has a system where he's just like this, <laughs> the whole way, which, you know, I don't have yet, but it's kind of just fascinating how you can like kind of mod it also i heard that there were like other devices people had that would like move for you anyways but that's just something i just learned all right this is day two of our road trip back to minnesota um we stayed last night in richmond virginia and we are driving now to newborn new, new bern new bern, yeah. new bern north carolina first time in the carolinas first time in the carolinas well, well, we no. start carolina. first time in north carolina um for those geography people out there, yes, we know this doesn't make sense when going from Massachusetts to Minnesota, but we are visiting friends, family. Tonight we're staying with some college friends um, along the way, so we're taking quite the scenic route, um, which is always just our favorite part of road trips, honestly. It's always more fun when you can see people along the way. <laughs> sure, but we're also enjoying some southern heat. It's currently 54 degrees. That is and also this true. is December 2nd. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that was your one. Okay, we didn't know this, but apparently it is still fall in North Carolina. And it is December 2nd. But this is what it looks like as we are driving. Yeah, I've given people the pills at the hospital many times. If he got the job, he told me he might get. Yeah. Alright, so we are on the start of day three of our road trip back to Minnesota. We are currently driving through North Carolina, the state of North Carolina. We spent the night with some friends in New Bern, North Carolina. Fun facts about New Bern. Um, it's the sister city to Bern, Switzerland. If you've ever heard of that, Bern in Swiss means bear. So there were little bears like all over town. It was a like very cute little retirement town-esque. Actually, it's the town that like all the Nicholas Sparks books are written or themed after. I guess Nicholas Sparks lives there. Um, people sometimes see him, he has book signings there, whatever. But very cute, picturesque, Hallmark-ish, Nicholas Sparks-ish town. Um, so we spent some time there. We went to a farmer's market this morning. It was great. Um, and now we're driving from 
there, which is on the coast. Oh, what was the river that she said they were on? It's called the Trines River, I want to say. Was it was it? a river that leads into the ocean. So it was called a, it had a name. But it's like salt water, but not oh, salt water. Oh, it's a brackish water. Yeah. So it's kind of like a mixture of salt and fresh water. Yeah. So you could have crocodiles, apparently. And sharks together. It's my worst nightmare. So we didn't go to the water at all. That's actually my worst nightmare. Like, I think my fear is not of sharks. I figured this out. My fear is of large living things in the water that you can't see. Which is of literally the whole ocean. Yeah. Okay. But also this is worse because now there's crocodiles. Like sharks are the worst because they got teeth and they're probably the one thing that's gonna eat you. Other than killer whales, they could eat you. That's scary too. I don't know. They're not cute. But like even like a walrus underwater freaks me out. Like that's not okay. It's so big. And you can't see how big it no. But yeah, she said there could be crocodiles and sharks on the same beach. And I'm like, not compatible with beaching. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, but we were driving, we were on the coast, and now we're driving inland towards Charlotte, North Carolina. It's actually farther than we thought. Um, we thought it was going to be like a short drive today, but it's five hours. So we're going to go have dinner with some more college friends there, and then continue on the next day.